Welcome community reviewers to our 2022 traditional program reviewer training. Thank you again for taking some time out of your busy schedules to help us look over some awesome individuals who have applied to our program. Uh, this year we did change our application platform, so if you were a reviewer in the past, um, that everything's going to look a little different than what it has. And so that is what this uh, slideshow is going to be going through, is how the new review process will look for you and some tweaks that we've made as well through the process. You should receive an email from me um, for the Salesforce uh, reviewer website. Um, that email should be coming to you um, directly to your inbox, but if you did not see in your inbox, please check your spam folders. Um, it may have tripped in there instead, um, but this email is going to give you the login information for you to begin the, um, the portal for that review. One thing I do want to make note of is that your username for the review process is going to be your email address dot Questa at the end. So if you have reviewer at email.com dot Questa is what your username is going to be. It's very important um, that we remember that as we're logging in and if we have to return to finish our review process as well. All right, once you are able to log in, you'll see the main screen, which is going to show our Questa logo, as well as you're going to see a box down there that says My Reviews. You will click on My Reviews to begin. Once you go into your My Reviews, there will be a listing, and it's going to show assigned applications that you have been given. So in order to begin the process, you're going to click on the application number, which is that A with several digits behind it. You'll click on that, and that will bring up your first application. The application is going to show you details of the applicant. Um, one thing that we did remove this year is it is a blind application, so therefore you should not see names within the application. However, you could see references to their names in some of the responses from recommendations. So hopefully it's not going to be too evident who we're talking about, but so we tried to make it blind this year. On this very first page, you're going to want to make sure um, there's two pages to this review uh, process. You're going to want to make sure you read through both pages um, before you start that scoring on that uh, right hand panel. On the left hand side, you're going to see their high school information, college, supplemental questions. And this year we have um, given the supplement of questions um, that was known as the essay in the past. So we're trying to make it a little bit softer language for them to feel more comfortable with completing, as well as you're going to see school community activities, involvement, and employment experience. That's all going to be on that very first page for you to review. Once you're done reviewing that first application page, you're going to click on the additional details tab that's right next to that application tab. And that tab is going to show you the recommendations, and there are going to be two. Again, you're going to, in order to review those, you're going to click on that R um, with the numbers behind it. That is the recommendation name, and that's going to bring you the review information. Here's a sample of what a review looks like. Um, of course, this one's going to uh, just give you a test example. So hopefully we're going to see a little bit more information on the ones that you're receiving and reviewing. Um, but essentially it tells you, you know, who the recommender was, as well as the number of years they've known them, um, relationship to applicant. Um, we hope that is a professional relationship. Um, that's what we strongly encourage, as well as the application, applicant's attributes for consideration. Um, typically, you're going to want to see more than what we see in this test example of fabulous, although it's great that it's fabulous. Um, you do want to see them talk a little bit more about their interaction and experience with that individual. Um, below that, you're going to see then scoring of characteristic traits, and I'm going to forewarn you that most of them are probably going to show up as fives. Um, some fours mixed in, but most generally you're going to see a lot of fives. And when we get into our scoring um, matrix at the, um, 
further on down in this presentation, we'll kind of go in a little bit more detail about that. But once you're done reviewing this particular recommendation, you will click on the application number and that's going to take you back to my reviews. Um, and that's going to allow you then to select that next one and go into that next review of the um, of the recommendation. All right. So now that you read through both that first page, which give you the details of who they kind of are, where they're going, what kind of degree, as well as a little bit of uh, hopefully hearing a little bit of passion about why they're going into that degree field and coming back and giving back to Northeast Indiana. Um, you've read the recommendations and now we're ready for you to start that scoring process. So on that panel there on the right side of your screen, you will go ahead and um, utilize, you have basically three questions and a comment box for you to go through. Again, um, a little bit later in the um, presentation, I'm going to go over those in detail, but you'll basically just use the up down arrows to select the scoring that you feel um, is needed for this particular applicant. Um, once you are done, you're going to click that complete button and then that will basically save your scores and your comments on this particular review. Once you have that uh, button clicked, it's going to actually thank you for completing the review. Um, if you click that go back, that will take you immediately back to the review scorecard that you just completed. Um, hopefully you won't be needing to do that. Um, and then instead, you're going to navigate to the top left hand corner of your screen where it says my reviews and click on that. And that will return you to the listing of those assigned reviews that you have. Um, the one that you just completed is going to show that it is completed um, and the remaining ones will show that they're still assigned to you. And you'll repeat this process over and over until you hit the end where all of them are showing complete. And here is an example showing you that we're, is showing completed and then the assign below that. All right, here's those review tips that we were talking about. So supplemental questions, as I mentioned, uh, we replaced the essay language that we've had in previous uh, applications. Um, and this year we split it up and we have a degree choice explanation as well as a using a degree to give back in Northeast Indiana. I do want to make note that we did see a little bit of a miscommunication. Um, both we were going to take some blame on it as well as that for the applicants. We did give them a little hint on what we were expecting from them, um, but most um, applicants we were catching were only putting their major title in the degree choice and not an explanation for that. Um, so we're going to go a little easier on them this year. I think that was a miscommunication. We're going to take steps to make sure that we don't have that in the years to come. We've also touched base with many scholars and had them upgrade their answer to make sure that it completes it in a more thorough manner. Um, but in the meantime, if you run across someone that just has a one word answer on the degree choice, we're accepting that for right now. Um, what we're really hoping for is that using degree to give back to Northeast Indiana is going to actually have a better response to it that will help kind of balance it out for us. So we're not going to deduct on just giving the major at this point in time. So, all right. But overall, what we're looking for on the supplemental questions is we want to see their passion. Why did they choose their degree field? Um, you know, what was it? What life event? What aha moment did they have that said, this is the path that I need to take and and why I'm taking it. And then in addition to that, we want to hear them talk about how they're going to give back to Northeast Indiana. I know in some of the, the better essays that I've read, re, read in the past, um, you're definitely going to hear them talk about, you know, you know, they grew up in this area, they have family and they want to stay close to their family. They know the area um, <clears throat> in some of the the um, stronger essays, sorry, supplemental question answers, um, you're going to actually hear them talk more about how Northeast Indiana is going to be able to give them opportunity to use that degree that they're going for. Um, those would be your very strong ones. Our scoring is going to be from a zero to five scale. 
Um, and below this, I've listed some examples for you or, or give you some characteristic traits because quite frankly, if I gave you an example of an excellent one, it would take up several pages of this presentation. <laughs> so I gave you some characteristic traits that we're looking for in those answers. Um, so of course, zero, I hope we won't see any of those uh, zero answers for you, but there could be a couple hidden, for, especially with some of our last minute applicants. Um, and then on one and two scores, I gave you an actual example of someone who responded, and I would consider that fairly minimal and a limited response. So they gave you just a little hint of maybe what they were thinking, but really didn't expand it out um, and talk about it in detail. Going on to three, four, and five, um, on three, it's an average response. So it's a paragraph. They just kind of start talking about their why, but they really don't develop it fully. Um, you're not really maybe hearing as much passion as you want to hear and how they're going to give back. Um, a, a four is considered something that might be multiple par paragraphs that's going to go a little bit deeper into explaining their degree and staying in Northeast Indiana. And quite frankly, number five, I call that your blow your socks off answer that you read it and you're like, wow, this student really understands not only their degree choice and why they chose it, but how they're going to make a difference in Northeast Indiana in the future with that degree in their community. So hopefully we see a lot of those. I know there's quite a few out there, but um, yeah, definitely that's someone that has done a really good process of thinking through everything about their degree and making sure it's planned out. Okay, moving on to the school community and work experience. Again, we're going to be taking those experiences and we're going to try to combine them into one. Overall, what we're trying to look for is we want to see leadership quality, we want to see longevity, we want to see a strong worth ethic. A um, couple things to keep in mind is some of the applicants that we're looking at, there will be individuals who um, might not have as much uh, school community experience, but they're holding down a full-time job. Um, unfortunately, in, in our answers, we did not get to see that, you know, 40 hour work weeks. But what we can see, though, is their length that they're in that job. So if you see that someone has been working that job for over six months or for a couple years, or you see that they're working a couple part time jobs simultaneously, um, we definitely want to score them higher because that tells us then that individual is really working hard to be able to support his family. Um, and, you know, potentially his future career. Uh, so those we want to um, make sure that we're uh, scoring very highly on. Um, so I've given you some examples of, and then this one's really just going to take you reading a few essays to figure out what makes the most sense to you. Um, and you can go in and back out of these um, applications too and, and figure out what scoring makes sense to you based on what you are seeing. Um, but I tried to give you a little bit of example of, you know, like a uh, number one would be a slight. Maybe they have one school or, or community commitment and maybe a summer employment. So they're doing a little bit, but not much. Um, and then kind of just it, you make growing that as we get higher on the list and a higher score. Um, number four is talking about, you know, that they're very active in school. They might be in several community and, or school activities and that you're seeing that they have work experiences of at least six months or more. So they're, they're staying busy working as well. Number five is a really important one. What we really like to see is if you have individuals that their degree field, their work experience, and maybe their um, community or school involvement is touching on that degree field that they're going into. The example I gave you is if you have someone that's planning on getting a BSN degree, and they have earned or are earning their CNA while in high school and they're working at a nursing facility. That is a very strong one. Um, as well as we're looking for someone that has maybe a year or more work experience at one particular place. So that shows longevity, that's showing some good work ethic. Um, you see that they're in leadership roles as well. So that would be your number five pick. Recommendations. So we're going to be looking at um, two recommendations for each of our applicants. Um, on, the app, on the recommendations, you're going to see, you know, who the person was that was 
um, completing the recommendation, they're going to be giving them some narrative, um, to kind of talking about what their overall thoughts are with that particular student in their relationship, as well as you're going to see then their scoring of their characteristic traits. I'll be quite honest with you, um, you're going to mainly see a lot of fours and fives. Uh, zeros, ones, twos, and threes, probably not going to see them hardly at all. I'd be surprised if you see many of those. Uh, so therefore, you're going to see a lot of fours, five, and fives. So on our score for three, we're saying those are mostly four responses. And the narrative is going to be very generic, in my opinion. It's going to be something like, you know, students in my class, they turn in their assignments on time, they show up every day. Nothing that really tells you more about that particular student. Uh, a five response um, for a scoring of four is going to have standard narratives. So they're going to say they've known them for a while, a good personality, they work well with others, they're a good employee or a student. You know, again, not really diving deeply into that um, close uh, relationship role that they've had. Uh, five, of course, is going to be our highest uh, for the recommendation, and that's going to be someone that's going to be like, I highly recommend this student. This is an outstanding person that shows initi initiative, is driven, is you know, shows passion in what they're doing and how they work with others. That is our number five um, answer. I do want to note as well that on our recommendation responses, one of the characteristic traits, motivation to succeed, we're seeing a trend where that has been left blank. Um, honestly, we believe that is a technical issue. We do not believe that it reflects any of the students scoring by that recommender, because most generally the recommenda recommendation has shown all fives and just that one is in particular blank. So we're not going to count that against the student. All right, and then that last box for you is going to be that comment box. This one is very important, um, especially as we're reviewing those applicants. Um, once you guys are done with that community review process, then we take all of your comments, we take the data from the applicants that we have received, and we try to figure out, okay, how does that work with the funding that we have available through our funders and through um, different uh, programs and such. So we're going to be taking that comment and we're going to be using that during that process. And a lot of times what that means is we might be down to the last couple spots that we, we know that we can fund in the program. And we're going to say, you know, we got A student, B student, and C student. Wow, across the board, they're looking pretty normal and they're pretty similar. What is, what is going to help push one forward more than the other. And that's where we're going to be looking at that review comment. So that's where you can really, um, as you are going through that applicant, if you see something that you're like, wow, I am just really blown away by this applicant. I want to make sure that, you know, Jana and the staff know about how well this is a, a solid applicant for the program. Um, put those details in there. We will see them. And definitely that could be that tiebreaker on those those three that we're trying to figure out who can we take in who can't um, for this round that could be our tiebreaker so we do appreciate that all right and then our additional guidelines so on this we're just talking about um, it, you can come and go from the website whenever you want uh, and complete that review remembering that our review period is going to start on Friday, March 18th, and it's going to run through noon on Monday, March 28th. At any time, you can come and go to this review site. Um, please remember when you're signing back on that your username is that email address plus .questa at the end. That's very important. Um, if you have struggles or have some issues, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you get logged back in. Um, another quick point to make is if you go into your reviews and you're like, you know what, I really feel like this particular person might be someone I know personally, you can tell me, you can just send me an email, give me a call and say, you know what, I honestly feel like this particular person is someone I don't want to review. Um, I think this year with our blind review, it's going to make it a little more difficult to see that. But if you do run across that, please just let me know. Um, we do ask that you all your reviews are completed by noon on March 28th. 
Um, we also ask that you do not print or download any material from the website, as well as giving me a call or send me an email with any questions or concerns you have. Um, and at the very end, if you could give me a heads up and let me know that you're done, I truly appreciate that. Um, again, we cannot tell you how thankful we are for you for the time that you're going to put in and help these scholars. We have a great um, class of scholars coming in and we are excited to be able to get through this review process and to be able to select them. Thanks again for your time. We appreciate it. Take care.